William was upset at Diana's media presence as he and Harry were divorce collateral. Prince Harry and Prince William were collateral damage in their parents' divorce while the different ages gave them varied perspectives on the family feud, according to a royal biographer. As the eldest, the Duke of Cambridge was both a stand-in and a buffer, when the marriage between their father Prince Charles and their mother. The late Princess Diana, disintegrated, according to author Tina Brown. An excerpt from the award-winning magazine editor's upcoming book The Palace Papers claims that Harry and William at times saw things very differently. Ms. Brown wrote, From their earliest childhood, William and Harry were collateral damage in a cold war between their parents. One that could turn hot in front of them in alarming ways. The couple announced their separation in 1992 but did not reach a final divorce agreement until August 1996. Ms. Brown claimed the younger Prince Harry idolized Diana while William was frequently frustrated by the media's fixation on her. She said, The two-year age gap between them was critical in forging their distinctive worldviews and, equally so, in shaping their perceptions of their mother. Prince Harry idolized Diana more and understood her less. Princess Diana's private life reportedly caused William some problems at school with claims that the young prince was seen crying at boarding school in Eton following his mother's bombshell interview with the BBC's Martin Bashir in 1995. Ms. Brown claims that William was aware of his mother's strategy of cooperating with the media, however it sometimes put tensions on their relationship. In 1996, William, who was just 13 at the time, was taken along to a meeting with Piers Morgan where the then editor of the Daily Mirror was given permission to ask Diana literally anything. Diana's alleged affair with the famous England rugby player, Will Carling, was discussed, as recalled in Mr. Morgan's own book. Ms. Brown said, he, William, was privy to her volatile love life. He knew the tabloids made her life hell, but he also knew she colluded with them. By his early teens, he was his mother's most trusted confidant. She used to describe him as my little wise old man, 